Okay, so this is the chemical equation 2H2 plus O2 yields to 2H2O. And since the molar ratio depends on coefficients, we have two moles of H2 and one mole of O2. So the molar ratio would be two moles of H2 to one mole of O2. In the second question, it asks, if 16 grams of hydrogen react with 40 grams of oxygen, what mass of water is produced? So here you have to find the limiting reactant first. So they give you 16 grams of H2 and 40 grams of O2. So in order to find the moles or grams that can be yielded, yielded from 16 grams of H2 and 40 grams of O2, you have to find the molar mass of hydrogen and multiply it by the amount that is given. And you would get 8 moles of H2. So now you would have to use the molar ratio between H2O and H2, which is 2 mole H2O and 2 mole H2. And you would get 8 mole H2O. Now, with the 40 grams of oxygen, you would do the same thing and have 40 grams of oxygen over 1 times the molar mass times the molar mass of O2, which is 32 grams. And you would get 1.25 moles of O2. And again, you would have to multiply by the molar mass between O2 and H2O, which is 2 mole H2O over 1 mole oxygen. And you would get 2.5 mole of H2. Oh. So now, since they're asking for grams, you would have to multiply <coughs> the number of moles by the molar mass of H2O. So you have 2.5 mole of H2O times 18 grams over one mole. And you would get 45 grams of H2O. Okay, so for problem C, we have to find the percent yield if 60 grams of water were produced. So the equation for this is known over theoretical times 100%. So since 60 grams are given in the problem, the, you, we put 60 on the top, and since 45 is the limiting reactant, we put it on the, bo on the bottom. And so we then, we multiply by 100, and that would give us 133%.